Hello people, this is Paul from Golden FM and I've decided to do a video on the Football Manager 2012 data editor because I know many of you don't know how to use it and would like some sort of information and some sort of guidance on it. I've already done a video on how to find and install the editor, but I'll quickly just show you now. You, I, I put, uh, you open up Steam, can't talk, and you go to library, and you click here, right next to all games, and the, t and the little arrow, go to tools, and here it is, down here, Football Manager 2012 editor, and just right click and install, and then you can play the game. Um, you can create a shortcut on your desktop and open it up and it will come to um, a normal screen and you have to press load database here and it will load the FM 2012 database and then you click on load editor data well actually um, first of all you won't have created any editor data but it will come to this and yeah all the stuff on the left hand side is what you can edit really you can edit pretty much anything clubs players create new clubs create new leagues create new continents create new everything as you can see here on the left so if i just say add a club so we click on clubs here on the left press add type in the name go for spleen fc some of you may know I've been doing my own database with a lot of our followers being involved in it called Golden FC and that will be up very soon I've been working on that but we'll just create this team Spleen FC nickname the organ donors yeah and untick that so it is an actual real club and it's not extinct then just say let's add it to the We'll say it's a Swedish club, so it's in Sweden, and then you can tick the year founded, so it will be 2011 because that's when FM12 starts. You can choose to be professional, semi professional, make it that, and morale up to 20, reputation up to 10,000 rating. So, like Man United, I think something like 9,900 rating because obviously they're a worldwide brand. Whereas other teams like, you know, a non-league team would be probably under a thousand. But then you can um, select your stadium. So you can create a new stadium if you want. So here you would go back to database up here on the left. Click database. Go to stadiums and you can add a stadium. And call it Bartholomew road or something and create the capacity of 10,000 or whatever you want it whatever you want it to be and you can have an expansion capacity so it could go up to 200,000 or something ridiculous you know just create that and uh, yeah that's created so then you can go back to your club you click on clubs type in the name Spleen FC open up Spleen FC go to edit and then go to stadium here click on the arrow on the stadium bar and type in Bartholomew Bartholomew Road yeah and then you've got it you can train in some facilities up to a maximum of 20 coach coaching whatever you want to do just add that you can add an alternative to stadium you can you know Ban supporters <laughs> have a state uh, arrange a stadium move for uh, later in the game, say 2016 or whatever. Finances of the club you can add a balance like a million quid, you add a transfer budget of half a million, Romanian wage budget, you know, 200,000, whatever what you want. You can have a sugar daddy, so you can have him in the foreground who is a bit like, you know, the man's, uh, Abramovich, you know, throwing money everywhere and that sort of thing. So yes, um, that's the finance section really. There's other various things you can do. Create income, for example, add in 
kit sponsor, giving them you know half a million a year or whatever. You can create debts and various other things which you can work out yourself quite simply. Um, then with competitions, uh, you'll have to add them to a league, but that's not done from here. That's done from the uh, main competition section. Um, tactical attributes, you can create various ratings of up to 20 for them there and support profile you can create a loyal support or maybe a passionate or a very patient one depending on what your support you want your supporters to be like um, contact contract types they probably want them all to be full-time if you're a professional club or part-time if you're semi-pro or amateur create you can create a kit color so you can click on there Choose a shirt, change a different type of shirt, so you can have checks, change the colours to you know pink and orange, what a combination. Horrible. But yeah. And then you know shorts and socks and create a way third kit, go goalkeeper kit, etc. etc. Staff and players. Now this is an important bit. Um Obviously, this is where you add your players to the club. So first of all, you have to create a player. So you go to database, go back to database, go down to people, and click on add. So you can add a player, a non-player, uh, an official. Now, non-players, you know, a coach or a scout or something like that. So uh, just add someone. So you click on add player, click on their name, call him Floyd. Floyd Q. Cumber and you want him to be a player, you can create ethnicity, hair colour, skin tone, etc. etc. Date of birth one slash one slash nineteen ninety one. Choose what city they were born in, what nation they were born in. Uzbekistan. Add him to that. Declare him for nation. Go to contract, you want him to have you know full time you want to add him to the club. So here you can add him to the club or you can add them from the club view as well. So here you can search for the club. Spleen FC. There's two Spleen FCs because I created one earlier. But Swedish one. And you know that's pretty much what you want to do. You might want to actually set their wage. Um weekly wage if you want but with Golden FC I've been leaving them blank so it will appear random anything you appear like leave blank it will randomize for you so that will save time if you're creating a lot of players like I am for Golden FC creating 250 players and here's just some of their personality traits the languages they speak so you might want to add Uzbekistani and maybe Swedish because he's playing in the Swedish league or English etc etc player data, now this is the main one, current ability is how good they are currently and it's an up, up to a rating of 200 potential ability is 200 as well and that's how likely they are to sort of reach their full potential so they've got a high rating and they're young if they're old obviously you know they've already reached their full potential so you have to bear that in mind but if you leave that as zero as well it will randomize all of these will randomize but you could choose the height for them or the weight how good they are left Fitted to 20, they could be quite strong, right fitted as well. 16 national service status, you know, you could say completed positions is up to rated from 1 to 20 on how good they are in each position. If you leave a zero, they randomize, so that goes for everything on this attribute section. So you could say very good right midfield and a very good right wing back. Add mental attributes, physical attributes, technical attributes, goalkeeping attributes, preferred moves, gets into opposition area, argues with officials, any injuries and bans. You've got the hidden attributes as well, which you don't see in the game, like versatility and injury proneness. That's a big one. So you probably want a low rating for that if you don't want them to get injured and important matches like are they a big game player or do they hide away in big games and consistency as well how consistent they are with their stats 
uh, relationships with different people you can say his favorite person is Barry Bannon or something and he hates um, Alex Ferguson or something who knows but then uh, yeah achievements and all of that are rubbish so yeah you've, then you've added a player to your team so if we go back to our team all the recent things you've been on will appear in this drop down box here so go to Spleen FC we go down to staff and players as you can see there's Floyd Cucumber in the team and you just add them all and uh, keep going and same goes with coaching staff, scouts and physios captains you just add one of the players which is already in the team you can add some board members if you want relationships is with uh, rival clubs and favorite people and that sort of thing current affiliations is when you can add a feeder club or a sub team or a B, t B club, a C club like I'm doing with Golden FC so you could say Hereford oh wait that's the start date sorry <laughs> um, search you add search for Hereford let's add this one Wellington is their C team or something or a feeder club but yeah and you can add records if you really want to, there's not much point because you know there's no history for this team anyway but yeah so that's what you can do when creating a new team and you can also edit teams or players so you could say uh, we want Vincent Company you know you could edit him you know you could make him really young or really old or you could Positions you could not a bad central midfielder there you see so you can add you could say his brilliant teamwork and but the thing is you don't want to do this really because it's just ruining the game because you're making it so much easier a lot a lot of people will go on the database and say I'm going to give West Bromwich Albion five hundred million pounds to spend in the next transfer window it's just stupid another note is um, you have to do this before you start a new game you can't do this during the middle of a save game so bear that in mind as well but it's good fun and it's good fun for making teams but please don't use it in a you know derogatory way and then send us screenshots of winning the league with um, Swindon by 110 points or something in the premiership because uh, what's the fun what's the point in cheating it's just a false satisfaction and you know deep down that you've cheated to get there so <laughs> please use it sparingly and wisely you know to create yourself and just see how he does I did create me and Tom once and just holidayed it to like 2014 and see how we did and you obviously over exaggerate yourself you, you put like oh I've got 18 dribbling I do and realistically you've got bore on dribbling in real life considering I, I know people that have been on the I've known two people that have been on the game that have played for Chelsea City in the past and uh, they had like you know ratings of 4 and 5 and they were like miles better than us at school football wise so you know <laughs> but um, obviously with Golden FC that have been created creating we've all over exaggerated we all want really good attributes we're going to have brilliant passes and finishes in the game we're going to play like Barcelona I'm sure all the players we've got but yeah keep an eye out for that edited game but if there's any more questions you want to ask on this then ask away um, oh yeah adding the league to the competition so you would click on uh, say league one then power league one edit it then you go to teams and all you have to do is say click on I don't want to offend people by removing someone here that everyone loves but uh, I'll close my eyes and randomly pick Leighton Orient sorry Leighton Orient and then you click swap and swap it with Spleen FC click that and there you go Spleen FC are at the bottom but they are in League 1 and got the lowest reputation and no money and no transfer budget and £1 remaining wage budget but yes <laughs> that's what you can do and it's good fun and yeah just have a laugh just have a play around with it and see how you go so i think that's it for this editor tutorial i hope it's been useful and please use it sparingly and don't abuse the system
See you soon, guys.